Welcome to the Full Throttle Project. Like this video, join our Patreon, and subscribe. This is a clip from the Full Throttle Saloon TV show. Okay. Does that work? D yeah, as long as you're available, I'm it works. Here. I'm always available. Yeah. Angie's been here since I opened, and she started her Angie Land thing. She does something no other bartender does. She sets on heads kind of like an ass hat, and uh, what we called it. And that thing has evolved, and then her and I ended up getting into a relationship together. I love I, you. Love you too. I've kind of brought her into the middle of the business a lot more. I want shirts yeah, lifted right, up, right. I want pant legs lifted up, all of it. Angie is also a part of Flaunt, a sexy dance troupe that shakes their ass off every night of the rally. Can we do one, two, three, four? Five, six, seven, eight, and throw it back here. I'm being a jack of all trades, is what I'm being right now. I'm making sure that our rehearsals are going well. So it's five, six, seven, eight. That we're going to be prepared for flaunt um, up on stage. You your sweet ass, I did. We started out as professional cheerleaders. Now there's no football team anymore, so we decided to start our own show because we just have it in our blood to perform. To keep the bikers boozing, Michael brings in some of the biggest acts in the country to perform. He's got burnout pits, mechanical bulls, and this year he's added a zip line, stripper poles, and a big ass steel bridge. Nobody can touch our atmosphere. We're going to become that repeat place for everybody to come back to. There are a dozen major bars in Sturgis, and the competition is cutthroat. Anything else? To make sure his place is ready, Michael opens the bar before the rally starts. Because this is the best place in the world, man. Oh my you God. You see the bridge out what there? A... That's an iron workers bridge. No. Okay? And that's what this place is all about working people, and that's what we're here for. I come to Full Throttle because it's really hot and there's um, tons of bikes. You can do a burnout. You're going to see hot chicks and great bands. I'm a regular here. I was born in South Dakota, so I just have a good time, make good money. It's a little running joke that every Thursday when Jackal performs, I get fired. So this year I promise them I'm not going to get fired on Thursday. <laughs> Bartenders will do almost anything for a good tip, but if they go too far, Michael could lose his liquor license, so he has to lay down the law. Ladies, Mike Strain is Michael Ballard's attorney. He's going to go over what you cannot wear. My name is Angelica Ellie Tyler. I've never bartended. I'm actually just going to be a beer tender, so I am scared, actually. We'll start with the first one, which is butts. You can't show your butt cracks here. Here's close right here. That's a little too short. Come up here and demonstrate here. My name's Courtney Lenshaw. I'm here to make some money. This is a little too high. You can't have the lower butt portion showing according to the ordinance, OK? I got personality. That's all I need. And I'll give the bikers what they want. Boobs. OK, next thing. Cleavage is absolutely fine, OK? Transparency's not. Fishnet covers not. The bikini one back here is just, I, well, I'd like a little more if I could, just to be on the safe side for tomorrow. My name's Brittany Hodges. Every girl likes to play dress up. You know, when you're a little kid, you dress up in dresses. When you get older, you dress up like a whore. I'm sure you can't use that on your TV. Third thing is bodies. And I'm talking about yours and the customers. They are not to touch. My name's Jessica Baxter. This atmosphere is a little different. The women are very, very intimidating here. It's like, I don't think I could pull off a lot of those outfits. And I need to do some crunches or something. It's hard. All right, I'm Vicki Ballard. I'm Michael Ballard's sister. Let's go through the handbook a little bit here. Vicki is a very valuable piece of the puzzle with the throttle, especially having logistics for the payroll, the taxes. Once you're off of work, I don't, you know, as long as you're not showing your nipples, I don't care. <laughs> Michael Ballard walked in, so I'm pretty sure he probably wants to have a few words with you ladies. The main thing I want you guys to know is this. We have security cameras everywhere at this whole property. It's almost as if you were in Las Vegas, Nevada. The bartenders are hugely important to me. Without them, we don't make it. But I can't stand a thief. I'm telling you right now up front, because it happens every single year, we get at least eight to 10 girls that think they're smarter than we are, and they try to steal money from us. 
yeah, we want good looking girls, you know, but we still got to have them girls that are honest and believe in what we're doing. Good luck, and I hope you guys make a killing. You make me a killing, so let's make it happen. Thank you. The few days before rally, what I am doing is trying to make sure that there's a full staff here ready to go as rally starts, and that includes clean up the parking, the security, the bar bags, bartenders, just making sure every spot in this place is covered from top to bottom. A former bartender named Brittany has unexpectedly returned, <laughs> but is only yeah. willing to work on her own terms. Brittany's been here forever, and she's had some issues every year. There's a couple things. Do you want to work here again? For sure. OK. Um, first thing is, that's got to be gone. Oh. Like that, no more drinking. Never. And the okay, promise whatsoever. OK, get in there and, and do an application okay, and sign paperwork. <laughs> Brittany, do you want the job or not? I do, I do, but I, where, where am I going to be? I don't want to, like, quit my job to, like, be somewhere. You'll be on night shift. I can't guarantee you main bar, though. So, last minute, Brittany Bell's drunk ass shows up again, expecting that she just gets her spot back on main bar. But you have to understand, like, I could not... Brittany, Angie, I know, Angie, Brittany, Angie. listen, I want you to listen to me. I, I have 300 people that I, I have to don't. employ here. I can't just be like, hmm, I wonder if Brit is coming back this year, and then, like, two weeks before rally starts, yeah. I'm supposed to automatically have a spot for you. Angie, I can't do it. You could have called me. Like, seriously, like, you knew. I, that's not my responsibility to make sure you want a job. That's your responsibility. Where's mine? <laughs> the, I am the answer person. Okay. It doesn't go any further than me. I can't guarantee a main bar. And I cannot guarantee your spot. That's where I'm at. Now it's in your court. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thanks, Brittany. Well, I know she didn't like the answer I gave her, so I'm sure she's headed over to find Michael, um, bat her eyes, be all cutesy and pretty, and just worm her way back into that position. Listen. Being a friend. Here's where I'm at. Don't cry. No, I'm being don't start crying. No, this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, go, have you filled out any paperwork to get in our no, system? I'm filling out paperwork. Well, if you get hired, you'll have to. From the day I can get hired, I will fill out paperwork. All right, we'll try to figure it out. All right. No. What do you want to do then? I don't Put know. Some balls and tell her. I'm not telling. I'm not crossing that line. That's her damn. That's her world. I'm not scared. That's my her world though. You know, I'm not going to cross her that line. That, she's the one handling all the bartenders. That's what I put her in charge of. So I'm not going to go step all over that. Well, that's the truth. That's the way it is. Give Angie a little while, see if she can get you a spot. If she can't get you a spot, don't. Don't scuff because she's a girl. You won't even be working here. Watch out. Be careful. I love Angie as a person, <laughs> but she does hate me. So uh, just. Uh, Give her a little while to get back no, down here I mean, and figure it out. If she can get you your spot, then you'll come to work. If she can't get your spot, then you're not going to do exactly. it. OK, then that's where we're at. Cool. OK, later. Coming up, fire in the kitchen. it's the last thing Michael wants to hear. Sean comes over and tells me there's a fire in the kitchen. It totally freaked me out. And later, the first night crowd gets crazy. <laughs> Maybe too crazy. Holy <laughs> we're not ready yet. And one girl gets the axe before the rally even starts. Well, I'll get the bitch out of here if she's ripping us off. It's the last night before the rally begins, and Michael is sweating, but his temperature is about to go up even more. Fire in the kitchen. Yeah, so Sean comes over and tells me there's a fire in the kitchen. It totally freaked me out. You no know, telling how much downtime and cleanup and food loss that we would have. I wasn't even sure if, if they had enough fire extinguishers inside the main bar to handle putting it out. This has been another clip from the Full Throttle Project. 
Leave a comment and check out playlist season one complete to find out what happened with the fire.